What is up? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make one of the easiest bombs ever. At home and with very, very little supplies. So first off, I'm going to put on some gloves because this can be pretty dangerous. And this will just help keep your hands safe, I'll tell you for more reasons later on as I get into the video. But uh, for now I'm just going to put on my gloves. And um, yeah, if you're allergic to latex, you might want to find um, some other gloves to use because it's very important that you have some gloves of any sort. To help protect your hands okay so now that i have my gloves on i'm ready to start making the bomb now like i said this is really simple you just need a few parts and um pretty much everyone has this at home so i'm gonna go ahead and get mine right here so you're gonna need about five popsicle sticks so i have five here and the first thing you're gonna want to do is i'm gonna set this out right here and make sure you can see it so you're gonna make like you're gonna have one center one like this and then another one like that, and like that. So you're going to have like a triangle looking thing or a tent. I'm going to do this up here so I can actually hold on to it. So as you see, I have my three popsicle sticks. The one on the center is in the bottom. This one's on the middle, and this one's on top. So now I'm going to take another popsicle stick, and I'm going to weave it in here. It's kind of hard to do. It takes lots of practice. But uh, the reason I said to wear gloves is because you can get splinters, and um, these can really hurt your hand and damage them, especially if you're making a lot of bombs. So next, I'm just going to put the last one on here, which is very tough and probably the most dangerous part. So now, the bomb is live. And it's pretty scary. Um, I'm just going to set it down really carefully. And yeah. And how you defuse the bomb is you just have to hold it and pull one of the popsicle sticks out. But if you're going to actually detonate the bomb... You're going to take it and then you're going to throw it at whoever you're trying to blow up. And um, it usually will only minorly hurt the person. So this is a very effective, cheap bomb to make. I uh, recommend it to anyone. Five out of five stars. And um, maybe drop a comment and like below and tell me how your bomb works out. I'll see you guys later.